Hello everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce is the Sound Device new Mix Pre 2 series. And also I will talk about like if you are not familiar about audios recording and then which mixer should I choose. Before we talk about this, let's talk about like maybe what's the difference in between each other. So this is the Mix Pre 3 2 and then this is a free preamp input and five track audio mixer. This is a mix pre 62. This is a four preamp input and then eight track audio mixer. And then the last one is the mix pre 10 2. This is a eight preamp input and also 12 track, track um, audio mixer. So you will ask, okay, I, I, I'm a bit confused. Why are you talking about like eight input but the uh, eight and 12 track? Okay, so let me talk about this. For example, I'm using a mix pre 2 as, a, as an example. As I said, this is a 4 preamp. The preamp means, okay, you can probably input and then to change the level, for example, like the mic level, line level, and also give you a phantom. This is a preamp input. At the same time, it also has an aux input. The aux input, you can have like a stereo input, which means it's actually the channel 5 and also channel 6. So, because this is not a mixer, this is also a recorder. So the recorder will also record all the six track at the same time and also the output left and right. Because of this reason, this is an eight track audio mixer. At the same time, this is a five track, this is a 12 track mixer. So that's why this is why I mentioned like that, okay? So other than that, okay, this unit also have an internal time code generator. But the difference in between each other is the 3 and 6 2 is only using a micro HDMI input or output as a, as a, a connector as a time cook out or time cook in. But at the same time, for the 10 2 is using a traditional BNC input. Because, okay, for most of the, uh, uh, the, for, for the productions, and then the sound man will be the one who going to mark to give out the master time code out. For this situation, the BNC time code in out will be a much easier to operate compared with the uh, 3 and 62. But the fact is, there is a lot of product, for example, like the technical sync, which you can actually get the time code from your mixer and then you can put onto the different units, for example, the camcorder or other device. All three series, they are also can act as a sound card because, okay, you see at the side, this is a USB-C connector. So once you connect with a USB-C connector with the computer, no matter it's Mac or a, P or a PC, and then it will actually recognize this as a sound card. And then you can use this fill mixer as a sound card in your, in, at your home and then to use as a desktop in output unit. So which is a very convenient uh, device. So, okay, who should I, maybe which model should I choose? Okay, for me, I will give you several things. First, okay, is how many audio input should you need? For example, like if you have, uh, if you use, always shoot like maybe an interviews and then with like maybe four or five people and then at the same time you have like maybe two or three or one or two, boom, just in case for backup. That means you already have like six to seven input. For this situations, you definitely need to choose the uh, Mix Pretend 2. But uh, if you want to have like, oh, if I always want to have, uh, go to uh, maybe some remote area, I want to be small, compact and low key. And then I think like the Mix Pre 6.2, or the free two will be a better choice for you. And uh, the other thing, okay, you might be consider, as I mentioned before, is a time code. Because, okay, if you, if you always need to generate a time code out for the whole production, for example, like you have a multi-camera shoot, and then with a lot of inputs, audio inputs, and then you want to generate the time code stand for the, all the cameras, and then the 10 2 will be a better choice because, as I said, they have a um, BNC in and output, which you can get the master in, or maybe you can use this as a master out to get all the time code. For the, um, 
3 and 6, you might need to have an external device to do that. Uh, but if you, if you probably need a mixer, at the same time, pull it onto a small, like maybe a DSLR camera, for example, like the A7S mirrorless camera, and then maybe the 3 and 6 will be a better choice because it's actually smaller. And then you will see there is a screw there which help you to put on the camera. So uh, if you want to know more about like this Mix Pre 2 series, and then please visit ANS website, Facebook, and also our YouTube channel.